what, what do you think, what, what is the takeaway here for the polling industry and what should be the takeaway here for the public as well um, as, we, as we basically conclude this, uh, these elections? Oh, I think that, uh, you know, the, uh, the idea of uh, public opinion research has been validated. The science that underlies the polls that uh, are conducted uh, specifically you know, by uh, SWS, Pulse Asia, and uh, Okta. And I, I'm, I'm singling these, you know, these uh, institutions because the methodology we use is uh, almost similar. The design that we use is similar. Uh, we have different weights no? and uh, we use different uh, uh, teams so that uh, do the the, the, the work at the field level, no? But then again, uh, this particular type of uh, public opinion research was validated by uh, the results that are coming out. While they are partial and official, they do, uh, you know, uh, point to the fact that surveys are reliable uh, and that they uh, are useful, no? Uh, tools for understanding uh, public opinion uh, in the country. Mm. Uh, Dindo, what what happens now? I mean, uh, let's go straight to to discussing the options now, particularly for Lenny Robredo. Yesterday, her speech to her followers seemed very, very magnanimous. Of course, very sincere. Uh, it was conciliatory and so on, but it really stopped short of conceding. And then we wake up to this day, and a lot of the headlines and a lot of the chatter on social media is about looking if there is not directly attributed to to uh, Vice President Lenny Robredo, but a lot of chatter about seeing if there's any basis to question or to process. Uh, what do you make of this uh, at the end of the day? On the one hand, she's conciliatory, she's magnanimous, she's telling uh, the people to respect what she says is, seems like the people have spoken, she said that much yesterday, but stopping short of conceding and then this chatter. I think this is the result of building a campaign driven by volunteers. And uh, as it evolves, you would see some of these noises not coming directly from VP Lenny. The energy that she has generated this past few months, this past few weeks, and when you look at the numbers, I think she would still, she might even hit higher than, or the upper level of the surveys which is maybe 26 27 percent that's quite high compared to where she started in october now the challenge is, is where to bring that energy and maybe after that is can you sustain that energy with your volunteers with your supporters this is just the day after mm. what if we start really going back to our day-to-day -day life and can they really sustain this do they have the time easy to say that now but to to fight uh, and to to put into a situation an incoming administration that might or will be seen as legitimately elected with such a mandate, that would really be the challenge. Hmm. But it takes, that's what democracy is, is good for us really at the end of the day. When you, this kind of uh, groups that might evolve coming out of the 2022 election. 